Hello, welcome back to Beno Sushi Life Funding. In this episode, I want to make a simple um, experiment with uh, procedural animations and shader. So in the past, I've been doing something like this using Blender Game Engine. And I'm also having a little bit of experiment. I actually have one project that's actually uh, using procedural animations, um, using animation nodes and cycles. Uh, so this is actually at some point, uh, I have a project that's uh, kind of doing this. So the, all the animation is being controlled uh, simply by using animation nodes. So what's happening is that you can see the emission of cycles, materials, um, is the strength, especially it's being affected by uh, this sine wave. And basically the one that's responsible is this frame, time info, and it's multiplied by 0.1, sine wave functions, and there's map range. This uh, map range in animation nodes is very, very useful. And this thing can plug into this cycles material output. So that's cool and uh, fine, but uh, this is to Blender 2.79. And now we have 2.8, right? 2.8 alpha, and then we have uh, Blender, uh, another render engine called EV. Of course, it's real time. It's similar to game engine. Um, it's actually doing really, really cool stuff with a uh, with material because it's real time and it's, it's actually not as different as a unity shader engine or shader editor whatever they call it um, i look at some videos on unity shader engine and then um, i have some ideas how you can do the same inside blender so let's try this ev material anim of course blender um uh, materials can be animated using keyframe. That's a that's the common way you might want, want to do it. Uh, in Blender now, it's called Shader Editor, Blender 2.8. Let's actually just try something. Um, it's gonna be improvisation. Um, so this is by default EV, and then the material is nothing. Uh, this is the base material. Let's use nodes. So now we have this uh, principal BSDF. Principal BSDF doesn't have emission, so I want to use emission. And I like so emission is really simple. It's it's got this strength, and uh, that's something that I want to play with. So let's uh, try that really quickly. If I render this now, so this guy is emitting, right? You can go higher than one in the string. So that's cool. In uh, in EV, there is one thing that I really like, just like in a lot of game engine, is the bloom. The bloom makes everything is kind of glowing. So this is I really like. This kind of effects that I wish cycles can do it in real time as well. But anyhow, this is uh, what I'm, I'll be using. So now, sorry, it's a bit bright now. Uh, the world, I want to make it darker, even darker. So it's now totally glowing so that's cool um, now I want to animate this guy now so how would I do that let's actually uh, keyframe something so I'm not uh, I say that I'm I'll, I'm not be using like a manual keyframing I like to use the procedural way but uh, just add a keyframe a single keyframe right so now we have a single keyframe there strings of 25 now we go to graph editor over here select our object and material we have a keyframe here we we can actually animate it of course by keyframe uh, that's not a big deal uh, let me try all right so we have that just normal keyframing so we have animations. So that's cool. That's real time. We actually have a ease in and ease out by default. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want it. But what I'll, I'll be using is this uh, modifier. And modifier has a lot of things already. You can do cycle. You can do like uh, noise. Even like built-in function like sine wave. Let's try with uh, cycles first. So with this animation, it's going to do a cycle. 
and if you play back I think it's actually already working so it's, it's doing this kind of like a sp splat or like a flash of animations maybe it's better if we with this guy if we just uh, select all and then well I forget the, the shortcut but uh, change the handle type into linear okay now this is better uh, and alt a is no longer the hotkey shift space bar is the hotkey to playback so this is what we have so it's nice like a flashing you know like a um, if you have like a street street light traffic light that's a uh, kind of broken at night this one might how it looks like and if I'm not wrong we can also kind of duplicate this guy and they're now slightly different that's interesting there's one that's slightly offset maybe that's a bug didn't expect that because they're all, they're all still using the same material so that's kind of interesting but if you really want to have like a different offset of course we need to duplicate this material over here so let's save this first this is the base and let's uh make it single user copy so for each object we want it to have a uh, each own separate material so we can now change the color for this guy and then tweak tweak the light a bit more so it's kind of cool we we, we have this bloom that's kind of like a like a fog um yeah let's play around with this maybe the blue one instead of using loop we're gonna change it into a different one like a sine wave for example okay sine wave so now we have like a oh it's happening it's happening to all of them so that's actually kind of interesting because apparently the animation is happening to all of this somehow maybe the the animations actually is being used on all of them okay so I didn't expect that of course but anyhow let's play around with this we can change the amplitude uh, you can see the, the value here it's now between minus 5 and something we can we can offset the value so it's between 0 and high number okay it crashes of course it's still a uh, blender 2.8 alpha and we are really kind of hacking around it but it's okay let's do it anyway I save a lot so don't worry so it doesn't quite like that maybe the value is too high uh, let's quickly reload it amplitude offset okay not too much and face multiplier all right so it's now should be working like a like an ambulance or police car okay value should go up and go down uh, still kind of too strong there you go there you go that's a bit better that's cool um, I think I, I know why the animations is being applied into this cube I have a feeling they're all using the same F curve so this is why I need to make the animations um, kind of a unique or whatever they call it a single user for the animations oh well anyhow let's try something different let's the uh, the color is unique right let's try having a hue saturations plug into this guy and this one make it green or whatever color and then let's play with the hue 
see we can change the color of the hue and let's keyframe that as well right click and insert keyframe okay so insert keyframe and now we have a new uh, F curve on this guy and we're just gonna be using built-in built -in functions again this is the, the sine wave now it's between minus 2 and 0 I have a I have a feeling it should be min between minus 1 and 1 this number is kind of wrong so I'm gonna push it kind of offset it so it's be between 0 and 1 this number is a bit wrong I think that's a bug and yeah so between minus 1 and 1 now it's more like a disco light it's going through the rainbow color very very quickly so that's a that's a separate um, F curve over there you can change the amplitude to 0 point oops phase multiplier to smaller number so now it's doing the rainbow color but it's a bit slower too slow oh okay seems like it's not doing anything now so that's probably a bug again but uh what i wanted to show here is actually something that's really cool i think once we are we make it kind of working properly with ev it's going to be really cool because we are animating the shader on the fly and it's not just like a hue or just emission strings you can do a lot like a let's say like a noise let's try something i haven't tried this so noise plug into the emission or let's try let's mix a color mix rgb so mix this with a with a noise texture for example noise should have some value maybe multiply it so you can see a bit of noise there maybe distort it a little bit so noise have a vector and then we can use maybe combine XYZ Oh, okay, don't use that. Use a genera generative texture coordinate and just generate it. Plug into this guy. So we have this bit of noise there. And let's use a vector math. Put it in the wrong place. Plug it here. And now we can use combine XYZ and just translate this noise so that's also kind of nice so let's try it in the in one of the axes yeah I think that's that might work one of these maybe keyframe it again add a driver oh no add a keyframe insert keyframe and then now with this guy selected what is this this is a uh, material 002 default value add modifier let's use a uh, envelope uh, maybe or generator 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 should give you this polynomial stuff. Okay, so that's kind of working. Okay, let's see if this works. That's the offset, and that's a uh, that's how the value is gonna move. Doesn't seems to be doing anything over here, which is a uh, kind of pity. It, but it should work and uh, let's use a uh, built-in functions and 
sine wave. This one should influence, uh, should be additive. And let's offset the value. Zero point two amplitude up. So this guy should actually works and changing the value on the fly. It's not doing it unfortunately, which is kind of interesting. Um, and this hue is also kind of stop working, but I kind of wish they are all working together. Maybe I need to select it. Maybe I need to save it. Oh, I remember EV sometimes need to recompile uh, the shader. So re let's reopen it and file save as. Okay, now it's working. So that's that's the thing about EV. You need to per perhaps still refresh it on the fly. Now we can really see this uh, really strange behavior of material. Sometimes I get the material and the shaders kind of mixed up. But um, yeah, there you go. The shader or uh, the material has been recompiled and then now the animation is working. Everything is procedural. You can go back and look at the animation here. Look at this. Really cool. Oops, yep, it crashes. Uh, so be careful with this. Save a lot. Um, just still, this is like alpha and then still EV is kind of experimental and this whole thing is kind of experimental as well. But you can achieve something really cool. Maybe it's a good idea to maybe don't animate while changing the value. That's one thing. But yeah, imagine if you can also use this with a transparency, all things like that. You can have like a character maybe kind of uh, dissolving into nothingness using material. A lot of people do this um, in game because game engine is normally real time. So everything needs to work in real time and a really good game engine really have, a, let's say, the animation of the character is uh, real time and also everything is procedural. The character can move around like uh, in a game like uh, Shadow of the Colossus. The character can climb on the monster and then um, everything is kind of reacting to the character. The same thing with Shader, of course. This is like just a very basic example, just like a, like a glowing things. I actually find this uh, the way this F curve and this guy is kind of doing the same thing is kind of weird. This shouldn't happen. Maybe the animations need to be make a single user or something. But anyhow, it's a it's a quick look at EV real time uh, engine a render engine in Blender 2.8 and how you can animate it procedurally using currently using modifier. At some point, maybe the nodes itself will will have something like a time currently we don't have time i wish we have time and or like a frame it's not a really like a frame number this is just a, how you frame the nodes um but you can always add a keyframe and a keyframe you can generate a wave over here so that's a that's one thing to remember maybe this graph can be a nodes at some point like animation nodes who knows? Maybe in the future of Blender. Alright, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time.